Former President Donald Trump and his legal team are preparing for his arraignment tomorrow after Trump's third indictment on criminal charges. A grand jury in Washington, D.C. voted to indict Trump as part of the investigation into alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election and the January 6th insurrection. Federal prosecutors accused Trump of scheming to stay in power despite his election loss to Joe Biden. ABC's Justin Finch joins us now live from Washington with more on Trump's most recent sent indictment. Justin. Sarah, among special counsel Jack Smith's fundamental allegations is that former President Trump knew he lost the 2020 election from the start, an argument Trump's legal team flatly rejects. Special counsel Jack Smith breaking his silence about his latest indictment of former President Trump, alleging Trump knew he lost the 2020 election but was determined to remain in power anyway, and that Trump was at the center of a conspiracy to prevent the peaceful transfer of power on January 6th. The attack on our nation's capital on January 6th, 2021, was an unprecedented assault on the seat of American democracy. As described in the indictment, it was fueled by lies. The 45-page, four-count indictment accusing Trump of conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, specifically the January 6th congressional certification of election results showing Biden won. Trump also accused of obstruction of an official proceeding and conspiracy against rights or depriving the people of their right to vote and having their votes count. The special counsel also alleging Trump enlisted six unnamed co-conspirators. ABC News identifying some of them, which are likely to include former Trump attorneys Rudy Giuliani and John Eastman. Trump's lawyer firing back, insisting Trump's free speech rights are being criminalized and that he did not believe he lost the election and was acting on his lawyer's counsel. The reality is that everything that Mr. Trump requested to be done was done with the advice of counsel, was done with lawyers giving him advice. But this noon, some legal experts are challenging Trump's lawyers' arguments, saying one may not be able to rely on attorney advice as a defense if those attorneys are also co-conspirators. Trump has denied any wrongdoing. In Washington, Justin Finch, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah? Yeah, and the president will be in court tomorrow afternoon. Justin, thank you.